What's up, everybody? Don't forget to subscribe to the World TV YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of this great content moving forward. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to World TV. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Now, today we got some very, very sad, heartbreaking news. Um, the late, great, 11-time, count him, 11-time NBA champion, NBA Hall of Famer, one of, if not the greatest, Boston Celtic of all time, and the greatest winner in NBA history has unfortunately passed away. I am talking about Bill Russell. We lost him Sunday, um, I believe Sunday uh, evening or Sunday morning. He died, passed away peacefully at his home with his wife by his bedside. Just tragic news. I was at my girl's house um, working and I saw the notification come on my screen on my phone. I'm just like, yo, I thought it was a joke. I thought it was something that was not real until you started seeing it all over other news outlets and networks and Bill Russell pass and you know first of all what Bill Russell has done for the game of basketball is second to none talked about his accomplishments I mean like I said 11 NBA championships 11 in like 12 years eight championships in a row count them eight championships in a row never been done before would never be ever duplicated talked about he was a two-time you know national champion in college Five MB, five uh, MVPs, excuse me. Dude has done it all. But then his legacy also translates to outside the game of basketball. While he was playing for the Boston Celtics in the NBA, he had to go through racism, discrimination, where there were stories of, uh, of Boston's fans being super racist to him, where he would come home and he would find his place robbed, vandalized. There would be people who would defecate, yes, defecate, shitted on his sheets on his belongings so to to have the strong mental capacity to overcome everything that he did still go out there put on a show and and be a voice especially in our community to put an end to a time of racism when has all time high just because to show you a great man that he was a great mentor that he was and a great leader that he was and it's just so, so sad. You know, he, he he lived, I believe he died at the age of 88, so he had a pretty long, lengthy life. But I'm just sad. I, You know, death is the number one biggest thing I hate about living right now. Because one minute you're here and the next minute you're gone. And that's the only thing I don't like. You know, people come and people go. And it's just like, how am I supposed to move on or continue to live this precious, beautiful life? When somebody I knew, I grew up watching, I have a tremendous amount of respect for, you know, somebody I was close with. Not saying I'm close to Bill Russell, but just speaking of my own personal stuff, all of a sudden not be here anymore. It's like, you're here today, you're gone tomorrow. It doesn't make no sense. And again, my, my condolences goes out to the Bill Russell family, to his wife, to any kids that he might have, to anybody who knew him on a personal level. But we lost a great one. And his impact goes to show you he was not just talked about in the basketball community, but all over. I'm talking about every other major news outlet had his passing. You CNN, ABC, um, you know Fox News, uh, any any other political channel was talking about it. Any other basic news channel was talking about it. So that just goes to show you where you have become such an iconic figure, where your name in the sport translates to the general public. That's when you know you have done something special. Kobe is a transcendent superstar figure. He died two years ago, and I still can't believe that we lost Kobe Bryant. You talk about Kobe. You talk about Muhammad Ali. When you don't even have to watch or know any knowledge of their respective sport, but as soon as you mention their name, you know exactly who they are. That's the type of impact that he left. Bill Russell became a transcendent icon and legend, and everything that he's done is the reason 
why NBA players are getting paid the money that they are, or the reason why we have seen more inclusion in the black community and respective fields out there, whether that's a general job, whether that's NBA, other sports, you know, we want to talk about that iconic picture. I believe that was like in the 50s or 60s, something like that, 50, 60, 70, way back then. I don't really know exact date, but way back then, I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna have it on the screen right here, where it was him, Kareem, Muhammad Ali, and that was at the time where Muhammad Ali was actually they had the draft uh, to go fight the war in Vietnam, and it was actually 1966. I just remember that, and so there was a war in Vietnam. Muhammad Ali refused to go because at the time I believe he transcended to Muslim religion, and that was against his religion to go and kill somebody or something along the lines of that. And they came together in the Cleveland summit. They said, listen, we stand behind uh, Muhammad Ali's decision not to go out and, and do what he's been called to do. You know, especially you got to take another person's life. Um, they supported him. They stood by him. They, they expressed their thoughts and opinions. And you have to talk about a room full of iconic black men standing behind an icon in Muhammad Ali. Just goes to show you that was the start of something great to happen. Legends. Every person in that photo is a legend, is a icon in their own right. And it's just, man, it, I, again, just continuing to wrap my head around this. You know, we, we lost we lost Bill Russell this year. We lost Kobe in 2020. We lost Elgin Baylor, I believe, last year. So you never, ever, ever know when it's going to be your last day on this green earth that God has created. Just try to make your day every single day a great one you never know every day then when you wake up from your bed just be blessed because you never know when it's gonna be the last one that's why you just gotta pray ask god to live a very 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 long life you know one life to live you believe in reincarnation you might have multiple lives to live but this is just again a sad day not only in the basketball community but the entire world community let me know what you guys think about uh, Bill Russell's passing. What was your favorite Bill Russell moment, whether it was him um, being a Boston Celtic basketball player, a coach, or his impact in the social community? Questions, comments, concerns, let them down know in the, in the comment section below. World's TV, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.